Hello, again, Evan Pinion here, and today I'm deciding to do something a little bit different. Today we're having a knife fight, or comparison, whatever you want. I like the sound of knife fight better. Um, so, this is between the Milwaukee Spring Assist, and then the Kershaw Blur, the tactical one. Both are very similar in many ways, to just uh, look and things like um, the idea of the pocket clip is on either right side tip up or tip down carry. And then they're both spring assist. They both have modified American Tanto blades that have been partially serrated. And their handles are fairly similar too in shape. You know, lanyard hole, they're both liner locks, dual thumb studs. So, I'll tell you which one that I prefer. I, of course, prefer the blur, uh, but there are some things that uh, are some setbacks on the blur that you won't really get on the Milwaukee. For instance, the blur has a very thin tip. Very thin for this tanto point. I mean, it's completely hollow ground here from the tip all the way down. So you, you get a very thin tip. You get a nice edge, but you get a very thin tip. And it's very delicate. In the Milwaukee, on the other hand, you get a nice thick blade, and it's flat ground here at the tip to add strength. Another thing is that the at the uh, speed safe on the Kershaw, it uses a torsion bar, but it's a fairly thin torsion bar, and I've broken one before. Just uh, trying to close the knife, it snapped. Now, luckily, you could still use the knife without the torsion bar, but you know, it's a uh, it's a weaker assisted opening system than on this, which has a much more robust assisted um, opening with well as far as the spring is concerned the uh, back here is the torsion bar and that is guaranteed to last a little bit longer at least than the one on the Kershaw in my opinion anyway um, another thing that I like about the Milwaukee is that the grip you got nice finger choils and everything, and it's just, uh, it locks your hand in pretty good. Kershaw is, you know, it's decent. It's not bad, but I think, I feel if I'm using it to thrust with, and being a tanto, that's mainly what you're using the knife for, or that particular blade is meant for piercing. And, uh, I'm expecting that... With the Milwaukee, there's less chance of me slipping up on the blade. Um, thing that the Kershaw has over the Milwaukee is a tougher frame, being aluminum, and also the blade being Sandvik 14C28N, which is a very good steel, holds a very good edge, very corrosion resistant. But on the Milwaukee, it's just some unknown Chinese steel that doesn't hold a very good edge. Now, the liner lock is much more thinner on the Milwaukee, too, than on the Kershaw, which has a thicker liner lock. doesn't necessarily mean that the Milwaukee's just going to fold up. Uh, this could actually be a very good liner lock if done properly. And this may, one may actually be a terrible one if not done properly so but uh to most people if they see a thin liner lock compared to a thicker liner lock they tend to go with the thicker one because they think that means more strength um so far i haven't noticed any problem with either of them uh, the clip i like the wire clip on the milwaukee better it's a much nicer clip in my opinion I don't like this Kershaw clip at all, but both of them do exactly what they're supposed to do, so pretty much tie there. Um, 
speed. Speed has to go to the Kershaw then. Speed safe really does kick that blade out very quickly. But again, there's less chance of uh, the Milwaukee failing sooner than the Kershaw. Is it possible to fail sooner? Sure, of course. But there's less of a chance. Um, as far as grip, I really like the grip texture on the Kershaw. There's really no grip on this. You have some texturing on the Milwaukee, but the overall ergonomics help out. Um, and you do get a nice full-size handle, but you get a smaller blade. There's the Kershaw, you get it um, almost three and a half inch blade. And it's still a good size handle. Uh, price, price-wise, Milwaukee is not going to easily be beat by Kershaw, um, as far as the blur, anyway, with the price you get for the Milwaukee. For $30 or under, this is a great assisted opener. But, uh, overall, I just, I prefer the Kershaw, but... You know, if I only had so much to spend, I wouldn't mind getting this one at all. Um, it's the next best thing. I mean, you're getting a lot of good stuff out of the Milwaukee. Good quality. You know, solid lockup, solid assisted opener, centers. Just pretty much everything's just spot on. Uh, but Kershaw does a great job as well, but this is more, a higher price knife, of course. But you got to be aware, you buy this higher price knife, you're going to get a thinner tip. You're going to get a chance, you know, your chances of breaking the torsion bar are a lot higher than they are on the Milwaukee. So, those are things to think about, but you are getting better steel, better frame. You know, a uh, much faster knife. Now, as far as serrations, I'm pretty, I'm not sure how well the Kershaw fares against the Milwaukee. I've used the Milwaukee serrations before, and they're not bad, but these particular serrations I haven't used. But uh, having such a hollow grind, they probably will do a very good job of tearing through material. Uh, coating wise, both use black oxide, but uh, you blur is stone washed on my version. Um, black oxide I've noticed can have some corrosion to it. It's not an extremely corrosion resistant uh, coating, but it's not bad either. Um, as far as the Kershaw is concerned, again, you get that better steel, which is fairly corrosion resistant. So, at any rate, you decide which one you think is better. I mean, in my overall opinion, if I had to choose one of these, I'd definitely go with the Kershaw. Because I don't stab much, but if I'm going to use, you know, in a tactical situation, I'm going to go with the Milwaukee because that tip will hold up a lot better. I think they're both great knives, but you gotta factor in the pros and cons of each one. Lesser steel, better steel, you know, lower price, higher price, stronger construction, you know, still fairly good construction, stronger spring, so, you decide on that factor, which one you'd rather go with, but as for me, having both, I know I prefer the Kershaw for just uh, utility, but for tactical, I would go with the Milwaukee for that stronger tip. Alright, that's the knife fight. Thanks for watching. God bless.